Bren here from quantlabs.net. I just wanted to show you a quick overview of uh, Mongo. Uh, this has been um, kicked off from a process of uh, this uh, quick and, I will say quick and dirty, but a very fast uh, HFT system done in uh, C Sharp. A uh, part of that is uh, the core uh, is built around uh, Mongo DB. Now, let me just reiterate here. Um, it is an OSQL database. Uh, it is something um, I've had difficulty in the past with. Um, I've always liked Redis uh, because I've, I've played around with uh, Redis in the Linux environment. I do really, really, really like Redis. Problem with Redis, it seems that there's really not an official Windows support for Redis, so uh, I have switched over to Mongo. Now, part of this HFT system that is at this posting here, um, this person is definitely using Mongo, so that's pretty well the primary reason why I am using Mongo, or at least attempting. Now the good news is, is I've tried to fool around with Mongo, I've been able to properly install it, um, and I just do, uh, I'm not sure if this, uh, this document existed before at the time when I tried it on Windows, um, but it does work. I'll take you through that, uh, right here. This document will walk you through the process of installing Mongo on a Windows environment. Um, I'm using Windows uh, 7. Um, I, I'm not sure if this will work on Windows 8 yet. I'm sure it could be bug ridden, but uh, that's the primary reason why I'm sticking with uh, Windows 7. But uh, regardless, um, there are the full instructions here to down download and how to properly install everything. I, I just used everything as default that's explicitly um, stated here and follow those exact uh, instructions. So if you look at um, my command prompts, I have, uh, let's say, the Mongo Daemon, which is this guy right here. Uh, I just launch it and it just uh, works no problem and it spits out all the logs following these instructions. Um, so in that case, it's just Mongo D, really, uh, this guy right here, and it works fine. Um, I could I could set this up as a service, but uh, just for the early days of of uh, of uh, playing around with Mongo, I'm just going to keep it uh, as a console app. Uh, but you can see in the services list under my Windows that uh, Mongo is set up, um, ready to go. But right now, obviously, it's automatic. But right now, I'm just using this console. So that's 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 number one. Um, number two is a link here about how to um, you know find any good Mongo um, tutorials regarding uh, regarding um, this one right here and uh, this tutorial there's a bunch of tutorials here but you know once I see something from a code project which is listed right here uh, I, I jump on it because I know the code project are, are pretty good. Uh, so I have followed this Mongo DB tutorial on, on setting it up. Obviously, you have to set up the Mongo DB server first, and then and then use the code from the C Sharp app uh, where it will connect into. Now, this what well, I'm about to show you my Visual Studio uh, is the project that you can download from Code Project, which is right here. Again, this is all done in uh, C Sharp. Um, C Sharp is, uh, some will say, oh, it's too slow, but it depends on your data type that you're using. Um, one of the data types that I'm planning to use is very quick. Actually, it's, it's a lot faster in C Sharp than it is in Visual C++. But again, that's something I'll, you know, it's a trade secret. Um, and uh, it's my secret sauce that makes the system fast. Um, and that's the key uh, to it. But again, that's going, uh, that kind of information will go out to my members and mem members only. Um, so, as it stands right now, for the Mongo tutorial, it's very easy to set up. Um, connects to the server, inserts some data uh, along here. Now, there's one part of the code uh, that uh, does throw an exception, so I just commented out. Everything else seems to work. Now, to be honest, all I really care about is just seeing that this little uh, C Sharp app will connect into um, the the uh, Mongo and it does. You can see it connecting. Um, connection accepted. Ends the connection. Connection accepted. This is the C sharp application. And here, 
also that there's this blog um, database that's being uh, written and this is all from here so it is working now what you'll need to do is to download uh, a good um, Mongo client or, or GUI application I found one called Mongo view it is free that enables you to I guess connect up to two uh, servers in Mongo uh, so under uh, if you're under less than two it's free but even if it's something like a hundred uh, it's like thirty five dollars it's very cheap um, and, and it's pretty good uh, and this makes you a lot more productive obviously so in my case I've set up a connection a profile um, yeah, it finds the database here the, ta uh, yeah, the, da the database has your collections again this is from the C sharp application it's called blog my second post, my third post, uh, my first post, or whatever. Um, and again, we're just testing to see if it if if it's if it's connecting. And here you go, it does my first bo post, my second post, my third post. So so it is connecting. Um, it can read it. This is all in memory. Um, so everything's working. Uh, I did it really fast. I got all this set up really fast. No different than with Redis. Um, so I'm glad that we've got the Mongo documentation already set up now the question is where do we go from here obviously using Mongo is, is a key part of, of this potential uh, trading platform using my simulate model um, there is again the secret sauce of how you set up your schema for your trading data for your tick data if your your bar chart data um, so there is some um, uh, uh, I guess you could call it just secret sauce a secretive ways of doing that type of uh, setup in your schema again that's going to be put out to my uh, to my um, members uh, and that was all due to the fact of uh, this one posting that I posted uh, earlier um, this morning uh, this guy right here and, and it's, it's just based off of a real world um, HFT system built by an amazing guy out of uh, London UK he showed me this system and uh, I'm kind of replicating what he's done so far um, but uh, so far this is how it's done uh, thus far uh, I'll be moving into other phases or into other technologies um, just testing them out before I integrate them and then integrate everything that I've got into the uh, into the uh, HFT and the MATLAB simulate model so that's where we're going I just wanted to give you an overview of the Mongo DB part uh, works really good um, especially on Windows um, and uh, that's about it. Talk to you later.